When it comes to a real life defensive situation, you must be able to identify a threat, and then you really have to confirm that it's a threat. And in a low light situation, that's where you need a flashlight. You'll be searching in the dark or looking in the dark to identify a potential threat. And then once you see it, you have to confirm that it is a real threat. And then you make the decision whether you engage or not. With a flashlight, if you're using a handheld flashlight, you have to be able to shoot while you're holding that flashlight in your hand. Now there's a number of techniques you can do for that. I typically prefer just one simple technique. When you have your handgun in your right hand, you extend your handgun toward the target, and then you take the light and you pop your wrist together and you get some pressure from the back of this wrist against your handgun, and it's similar to a weaver stance. Activate the light, you can search, and you can identify. Search here, identify and confirm here for the shot. Now, a simpler method may be to use a weapon-mounted light. That frees up your hand. But a mistake too many people make with a weapon-mounted light is they actually search with the light. You don't want to search with the light because it may be in the dark. You may hear a weird noise. You get up in the night, you grab your handgun, you activate the weapon-mounted light, you're going through your house searching, and you come to find out the noise is from your 16-year-old daughter who's sneaking in the house in the middle of the night, and then you're pointing a gun at her. So that's where the handheld light comes in, working with the weapon-mounted light. Search with the handheld light, identify a potential threat, confirm the threat with the weapon-mounted light, and then you can engage with a standard two-hand hold like you would normally do. Now the good thing about a weapon mounted light on a home defense handgun is that you don't have to carry it with you. It's typically going to be stored in a safe beside the bed or maybe a nightstand. Where it becomes a problem is on a concealed carry handgun that you're carrying with you everywhere you go. And then you may run into holster compatibility issues. This Walther PPQ with this Crimson Trace Railmaster, you may not be able to find a holster, a leather, a common type holster that you're used to carrying that fits it. That's where a holster like this VersaCarry Zero Bulk Holster comes in. It will fit any handgun. Simply slide the stud in the muzzle, slip it on the handgun, you have a belt clip, and you have a really cool ultra concealable Zero Bulk Holster that's an inside the waistband holster. And you've got a weapon light mounted on your gun. And if you need the gun, you simply just draw it like you normally would. So to summarize, low light shooting, you need a handheld flashlight to search with. But a weapon mounted light is also a good idea because it allows you to confirm the threat and to shoot better and more accurately in low light situations.